Welcome to this DT Master video tutorial. In this video, we want to show in general how different setups and data sets can influence the performance of DT Master. We want to show the most common issues and also the most common setups that can help or prevent the performance lags in DT Master. Let's start DT Master and start with the first one, which is image handling. DT Master can display aerial images and autophotos in the main view. You can display the autophotos when they are part of your project, you can activate them here in the Auto tab and activate them. Having auto photos in the background gives you a better interpretation, but it will have an influence on the performance of your DT Master. The same thing is with aerial images. You can have aerial photos, you can activate them, and you can then in the options of DT Master, the preferences, in the views defined to display aerial images in the main view. They will be displayed on an average terrain height and also help you for interpretation. Both of them have an impact on your performance. You can disable them to have a better performance. Additionally, you can also go to the registry of DT Master and change the display cache size from your graphic card. To change this, you can go to computer H key underscore current underscore user software trimble info 70 DTM DT master preferences tuning options and select the display cache size. Right click it, change modify, select decimal and enter a new value. We recommend to use about 40% from your graphic RAM, not from your normal RAM but from your graphic card. Uh, you need to close DT Master first if you want to make a change to this value and the next time you start DT Master it will use this new value. Another issue is data handling of the binary graphic database, the BGD file. At the moment, at this project, I have this project file and at the moment I do not have any BGD file to it. If I open the task manager, we can see that my memory is currently running around 3.3 gig of occupants. I will load now more and more data into DT Master and show you how the BGD file and the memory increases and how this has an influence on the performance. If we look now at my project, we can see that we have a BGD file with 550 megabyte of size. And we can see in the task manager how this has an influence on our memory increase. We typically recommend to work in DT Master with 5 to 10 million points in a project. You have to be aware when we remove data, then the data is not completely removed from our BGD file. In my case, if I would remove two of the three data sets that I loaded and then load additionally two new files into it, and if I save now the project, then my BGD file did not decrease but increased because only when we completely remove all files then we will make a cleanup. In their case in this BGD file the two deleted files are still part of it. If we look at our memory then we see also that our memory increased with this data set. What you can do is can use the compress button 
file compress project and it will delete the undo redo stack but it will also now reduce the memory usage so we reduce now the memory usage from our computer the BGD file itself is not smaller it will still have the same amount but it's like a cup of water and the cup is now only half filled and if we introduce now new data it will not increase this value it will just fill into this cup until we reach 985 megabyte of size in case your work process um, will always increase more and more the BGD file you can also make a nice clean workflow by exporting your current data set by using the export function as imported or you can also use separate as imported will overwrite your files that you used for import if I use separate then I can still here decide now that each file becomes a new file export and then we will re-import these files into a new DT master project where we will delete the BGD uh, before so that we have a nice new startup with this current stage of data I will show it here uh, without comments in a fast forwarded part of the video I reloaded now these files and we can now see that the BGD file is now 573 megabyte of size instead of 985. Another issue for performance is the, are the display options. If you go into your point cloud you can display your points with different sparse modes. This can be handled by preferences, layers, sparse mode. This value here entered means how many points in the view will be shown in full mode and if we reach 200,000 200, points or more then we will not be anymore in the full mode but we will then jump into the sparse mode. Again in the sparse mode we will continue until we see only 200,000 sparse mode points and then we will jump to the next sparse mode level. The sparse mode is using only one representative point in an area. Therefore, if you have two data sets, two different files, uh, they, which overlay, it could be that you don't see the color from the other data set anymore. Please then work in the full mode, where you then always will see the different point colors and also if you use some points for interpolation or display you will always see them as you have defined them in the terrain setups for each different layer. Another issue is also in the display options the contour line quality. If you reduce the quality the contour lines will not look so smooth anymore and also they will not have the a, a, a more higher quality. The contour lines are not cartographic contour, li um, or, um, contour lines so they are really only for helping us to detect errors but still the quality factor will have an impact how much detail we want to show on each contour uh, part if we have very complex and close areas uh, when you have break lines at dams or bridges or stuff like that we recommend to use the higher quality uh, in, if not stay with the medium or you can reduce it. This quality also has an impact for the shading 
and for the Z coding. For the contour lines also the interval has an impact how much the performance of DT Master will be used. If you experience performance issues please check if you switch off shading, Z coding and contour lines and purely work only on the points if you have a better performance as if you would in, um, activate the contour lines and the shading. Another thing is irregular distributed points. So in our case if we would have uh, not points everywhere but uh, somewhere more denser, somewhere less denser, then this can also cause performance is issues for the contour lines because they cannot be interpolated over the whole area. So therefore in some areas where we have irregular distributed points you can also have performance issues. Another performance issue is when you are working with many views. So if you have the main view with Z coding on or shaded relief. Additionally also then having um, aerial images activated in a stereo view Perhaps having the stereo view on the second screen displayed and having then perhaps even a profile view opened and having the profile view with the main view and with the stereo view. This can then cause performance issues and therefore consider in this case only to work in the stereo or only in the profile or perhaps then in the main view not activating the autophotos perhaps if you have them in the background. Okay, we hope this helps you to check for your performance issues, to activate or deactivate different options to see if they have an impact. Please remember also to always have a look at your Windows Task Manager, how strong the CPU usage and the memory is. And last but not least, Please have your data locally on your hard disk. Best thing would be on a um, SSD drive. If you have them in the network, please check also network uh, traffic. This can also be an issue for performance issues with DT Master. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial.